All right, welcome back to Lone Star Homestead. This is our leaf vacuum setup. So, got a dump trailer here made by Texas Pride. It's about oh, probably close to 10 years old, maybe more. This is a Little Wonder 27 horsepower. Hey, sniper, it's waiting for me to throw the golf ball. There we go. There it is, buddy. Good job. So, 27 horsepower, Little Wonder, leaf vacuum. 14 inch down to a 10 inch hose. We'll look at that in a minute. Running a Kohler. Uh, 27 horsepower command pro got 0.3 on it since i've got it so we just got it hooked up uh, these are like two and ten bucks for two of them off of ebay or off of amazon uh did that, all the normal stuff filters kind of hard to get to the filter fuel filter i mean the oil filters back down in there make sure you're writing the time on it and the dates new fuel filter uh the only thing i had to do on this get it going was i had to put a new uh, fuel pump here very simple uh right off of, right off of amazon Drain the gas. We got it from a guy. Drain the gas. Got new gas in it. All right. So here's the mount. Okay. The mount is two inch, quarter inch square tubing. Added another hinge on here. There's a couple other guys that have done this too. I'm not the only one. So you can look at some of their videos. All I did was is cut this at a 45 right here. Come down. Another 45. Ran it underneath here. This thing weighs 500 pounds. Um, have grade eight bolts here. Ready it bolts there. It actually just slips onto the trailer. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in that second. I'm gonna move over there. Uh, finish that up. Go off on the hanging deal here. I gotta move over in that little compartment to show you all the rest of it. So right here, just took a piece of pipe. Uh, this has a, a, a rod that sticks up, one inch interior piece of pipe. Run it over, weld a square on it, run it over, down on a chain to help it hold. This is a baler belt off of a uh, round bell, uh, round beller, a uh, guy named, uh, um, uh, Daryl gave this to me. So I got this, uh, little bar of track supply. All you do is just run it through there, uh, double bolted, good view of the sunset, not so much of the bolts. Um, double bolted this, ran a chain up here, run through here. I had ran this second one here, trying to run a double off of it but uh, it didn't really work out real well. It's bent down too far. This is another piece of baler belt, just a little smaller. It's not working. I'm afraid we're gonna hit our head on this while we're doing it. So, uh, got it just kind of tied down on the sides here, all the way down the front. Got a 10 inch hose on the front. As far as the box goes, pretty simple. Uh, these brown, dark browns were already on here. So I just use three quarter inch plywood. At the end of the at the end of the season, I'll undo this section here, and then undo these right here, and then I'll lift this side off. And then on the front, we'll do the same on the other side. On the other side, we'll pick this front off. Uh, keep my vent or my um, net down. I just put some one by fours across the front. That's all three quarter inch plywood. I did have to double stack the two by fours just based off the way they were sitting. I don't know why Texas Pride a long time ago when they built these things, these are all kinds of like 32 inches, 30, 28 inches, 37 inches. I don't know whoever designed these pocket stays. Or I don't know if they were, I don't know what they were thinking. But anyway, true trailer otherwise. On this side, added another, another uh, deal over here. So in case we ever want to, theoretically, we could take this slider over here and hook it onto this side. So this can come off. Take a tractor with some forks, slide them on the outside of these, pick it right up. Had to modify the muffler. So yeah, it got a little bit modified here. Um, I'll re-weld it back down, facing down. I can't open this door without opening this door first. So that's why I hinged these here. All right, let's go inside. All right, All right. let's look inside. We're not going inside. All right, so the inside, um, this is the square that comes through. The guy I bought this front and modified this. This is usually a round, uh, this is usually a round tube comes through here. I modified it, pulled straight out. I built this, kind of attached it to the box. So it pushes all the, all the leaves and stuff down here. So the leaves will hit here from everything I watched. I haven't even used this thing yet. Comes down, hits and blows back up and out of the net onto your truck or wherever. So now it causes this supposedly Hits this, goes up and hits the four by sheet. I use a half inch up there. 
Use a couple cross, cross braces on the front, on the top. You can see other guys have built these boxes. I'm just kind of giving you some ideas. This isn't a box building video. I am not a box building expert either. So don't come at me. So, uh, so it kind of rolls back up. Got the fabric that runs all across the front. I mean, the uh, mesh got this off Amazon. It's like 60 bucks. Uh, I think it's an eight by 14. Put this here. Uh, also what I did, zip tape. Okay, so this is zip tape for the zip tape systems. Okay, I did this because there's a crack in here and I'm afraid I've seen a bunch of videos where this stuff just flies out of here, uh, the dust and stuff. So when you're back here operating. So I did zip tape up around that and then I'm gonna zip tape across here. Also, while we're in here, well, look at this. So this is just hangs over the side here on the door. Now I am gonna take and uh, weld a small clip there and here and run a chain in between these two so this door can't just come open with this thing on it. Um, another thing I'm probably going to do on the other side is weld a clip here on the other side and then down to the bottom. Ah, sorry. Weld a clip here and then anchor it somewhere back here so that if it does start watching it, this is done by a professional. My brother-in-law is a high-end pipeline welder, been in Alaska, all kinds of crazy crap. So this is nothing for him. He penetrated this real well, made perfect. So anyway, uh, so my wife just got home, so I'm gonna holler at her real fast and I'll finish up. Okay, forgot where we're at. But so if you have any questions, um, email me. If you want some more pictures, I'll have it. Email me at uh, LoneStarHomestead.com. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a leaf vacuum expert. I said that while well, I'm not a box building expert. So uh, you guys in the Northeast know a lot more about this than me. I did talk to my brother-in-law. These wheels will not break. Um, I am going to run a chain on it off of here just as a secondary precaution. That way, if if I get hit by a car or something and it tears it off, and that way it's not rolling down the road. These hinges, the door's doing well. Now, I will tell you that when it comes open, it does sag just a tad. So when you go to close it, you got to kind of pick it up a little bit. Okay, not that big a deal. There are other guys that have done this. If you search some videos, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll let you know. So, okay, LoneStarHomestead.com. Easiest way to get hold of me, send an email. I'll pay attention to comments probably for a month or so. Um, but I don't post a lot of videos. I wanted to post this. There wasn't a ton of this on, the U on YouTube. If you have some questions or want some pictures or something, email me with your email. I'll try to take some pictures and send it to you. I don't mind uh, doing that. Uh, this is a coupling system that came with it. Uh, we bought this used. Um, I will tell you, uh, used 2,700 horsepower. Um, 2,700, Jesus. 27 horsepower engine, uh, $3,500 for the unit. This is the truck loader system. Usually it's on its own trailer. 3,500 with a bad fuel pump. Didn't even know if the motor ran. I could tell just based off a, a, a turnover. It ran fine. The compression was okay. Um, but they knew it ran. They thought it, it ran when they turned it off. So it wasn't really that big. Bought from a local guy. Super good guy. Dennis is a great guy. So anyway, so had all the hose with it. We actually got another section of hose over here. But it, uh, it we don't need it at this point. If we have to actually get leaves from this side if we back up in a driveway it's going to be a little tricky but for the most part uh this thing will get us wherever we need to go it'll actually get us off straight off the back no problem i'm going to take this other pipe out like i said uh this door does screw shut i just had it open for the video i propped it took to unhook this propped it up i am going to close all these s hooks up and find a, a way to make sure that this doesn't slide off the end probably just actually take that off and leave that bolt on there it won't slide off the end so anyway um Got any questions, let me know. Uh, send me an email. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.